So today we're going to go through how to create a Hello World app in Python using Flask and Cloud Foundry. Uh, my name is Jeff Sloyer and you can reach out to me on Twitter at jsloyer. So first things first, open up a web browser. Um, I created a fake email address so I can kind of go through this with you and do it in real time. So we're going to open up a browser, go to bluemix.net and hit enter. In the top right hand corner we're going to click sign up. It's going to ask for a couple pieces of information. So again, I'm going to use my fake email address. I don't know it, so I'm going to copy it. I'm a little lazy. So use your real one here. So paste, type in your real email address, and then type in your email address again, and then type in your first name and then last name, and also a password. Then the next piece of information is a phone number. This is the last piece piece and then we need to type it in a country where we live as well and I just made up a phone number but ideally this should be a real one I already have a real account so I didn't need to do this so one last bit is the security question I'm going to kind of skip over this quickly so you don't see the answer to my security question so I'm going there and we basically click submit and you would come to this page and then we'll go back to our email and in a couple of seconds there should be an email from IBM saying this IBM Bluemix and we'll click on that email in a second once it comes through. There we go, it's there. So we'll click on that. There's this long link in there, we'll click on that. And it'll take us to um, Bluemix and basically confirms our account. Then we'll go ahead and log in. So we'll, we'll use the account we cr just created and the password we, we just created. And then click sign in. So that's basically it for signing up for Bluemix. Now we're actually going to create our first app, um, a simple Flask app uh, using Python. So uh, let's go open up a new tab. We're going to go to github.com slash IBM dash blue mix and it needs to be capitalized the same way. I'll paste this URL in the, in the comments of the video. Slash Python slash hello dash world dash flask. I'll leave it up here for a second. I'll put this again in the comments so you can copy and paste it. We'll hit enter. So this is a really, really simple uh, flask app. We're going to go through it. So we'll take a look at hello.python. So the only really important piece of information here is um, it's a simple Flask app, but we have to get the, the port for our app to start from an environment variable. This is just the way how Cloud Foundry works. It's called vcap underscore app underscore port. And then we're just basically going to spit a hello world and we're saying what port we're running on. And then we're just going to bind to a particular port at the bottom. Then with any traditional Python app, there's always a requirements.txt file, and this we're just saying we just need Flask. So we're, there's two ways to deploy this. We're going to go through both, um, but we're going to go through the simple way first. So the simple way is clicking that wonderful deploy to Bluemix button right there. And this will take us to Bluemix. So it will actually deploy the app for, for us, and we don't have to do anything. Uh, it's kind of great. So we'll click login. So it's going to ask us to create an alias. So I usually just use the short, the short part in front of my email. And so whatever is in front of the at sign. However, it doesn't, I guess, like the period. So just take out the period if you have that in your email. And then type that in and just click create. And then click continue. So what's basically doing here is uh, choosing a random app name for us. So it's, it'll be unique and won't conflict with anything. All we have to do is actually just click deploy right here and it will deploy our Python app for us. It's pretty cool. So it's going to start deploying. It's going to clone the code for us and start deploying the app for us and get it all set up. But in the meantime, we're actually going to go uh, deploy this app the other way now. So to deploy the app the other way, let's go ahead and click that Git URL there. It'll take us back to GitHub, the example app. So the other way is uh, using CF push. So CF is a 
the open source uh, CLI for, for Cloud Foundry. So we're going to use that to, to deploy the app also. So let's go to Google and to download it. All we have to do is type in Cloud Foundry CLI. We're going to want to click on that first link there and scroll down a little bit to the download section. We want to do the stable installer. So you want to choose whatever your platform is there. So if you're running Windows, you can use Windows, but I'm running Mac, so I'm going to choose that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over actually installing the CLI. Uh, just go ahead and install it for your platform, and then we'll, we'll start back up with actually deploying the app through the CLI. Yet, so this next part, pause here if you don't have the CLI set up. Uh, get the CLI set up first, and then we'll, we, we can move on. So the next bit, we actually need to um, have Git installed as well. And so we're going to basically copy this code um, from GitHub to our local machine. So on the right-hand side there, we're going to click Copy to Clipboard. And then we're going to switch to Terminal. Windows has this. It's just Start and CMD. And we'll type in Git Clone and then paste that URL and hit Enter. And again, if you don't have Git installed now, let's pause and install that. So we'll go ahead and CD into that directory. So this we'll just take a look at it also. This, this, this is basically exactly what we just saw on GitHub, same files. And now we can actually uh, log into Bluemix. So we'll type in cflogin a https colon slash slash api.ng.bluemix.net. Then we'll type in our email address and you can pause this video if, if it went a little quick there and then type in your password that you created earlier. And then that's basically it. So you're logged into Bluemix and Cloud Foundry now. And then this is the last tiny little bit. We need to type CF push. And this basically just means upload our app. And then give your app a, a name. So make this a unique name. If, if you get some random error when uploading your app saying the route is taken or something, or something weird like that, just choose a different name. So prefix it with your initials or, or something different or something funny. So it's basically saying it's uploading our app. Um, our, our couple five files that we have, and it's going to upload that and basically tars them up for us and uploads them to Cloud Foundry. So it's going to try starting our app. So what this means is it's going to pull down Python at first. I'll do it in a second. So it's, it's pulling down Python 279. However, you, we can use up to Python 341. And so it's going to read our requirements.txt file. It's basically running pip install. And it's going to basically install everything in our requirements.txt file. So that went pretty quick. So it's just finishing up the pip install. Down there at the bottom it says uploading droplet. What that is is basically Python combined with our app code. And it just tars it up and creates a droplet. It's a Cloud Foundry term for your app. And after it does that, it's going to try starting our app. So it'll, it'll take a little bit for the app to come up, a, a couple seconds. And we'll just wait for that really quick. And then basically our app is up and running. So there at the bottom, there's a URL to our application. Let's go ahead and copy that. Go to our web browser, paste in that URL, and go to it. And the app should be up and running. There we go. It's hello world, and it's, we sh it's running exactly how we saw earlier. So let's go back to the other way of deploying our application. Let's go back to the Deploy to Bluemix tab. So we'll see it's done. All we have to do at the bottom there is click on uh, view, your, view Your App, and that's it. And it'll take us to basically the exact same thing. And there again, it's up and running. So multiple ways to deploy your application to get started really, really quickly. You can do either or, but I just wanted to show you both. Um, if you have any questions or comments, reach out to me on Twitter, at Sawyer. Thank you so much.